What's up guys? Gusi Darmayasa is here and today I'm going to test this look um, the color profile of this Femi and first thing first I will use the 4k general and let's forward for like a hundred meters and we will see if you can spot the difference okay so now we are 100 meters stop and then we'll change to the lock color there you go and see if you can spot the difference now we just going back 100 meters okay Okay guys, so this is the 4K with general color and in a few moments I will show you the 4K with S-Lock color. And now this one is the uh, 4K with S-Lock color. So in comparison, what do you think about it? So I found that the S lock color is um, a bit darker and also the shadows is um, very strong in S lock color so that is all about the comparison between the two so in my opinion that the um, S lock color has uh, more shadows which is bad for color grading rather than the general the general has um, less shadows um, which is good for color grading so you can color whatever you want okay but still I will try to do some more shots um, in the next day with the s lock color and let's see if I can grade it well okay oh my god it's pretty cold here Whew. okay so you already saw that um, as I showed you already the difference between the general color and the F lock color of this drone and for me personally it doesn't have any difference and even the F lock color is a bit darker in the shadows which um, not supposed to because F lock color should bring up the shadows but the F lock of this drone like the shadows is darker so I think I will use general color next time but this time I will try to do all the F lock color so I can see which one is the different which one is um, better okay let's do this okay guys so we are ready and good to go now and the drone is hitting up 64% batteries because I did some flights before and let's try Bye. sunrise and I can't see my drone I need to adjust the antenna so it will have better um, signal quality it's so cold here the battery should like you know draining fast because it needs some power to to hit itself Do the circle thing. Okay, nice. So now let's do the 
all camera up okay so the camera can tilt a bit up it's not level to the ground so we can do this kind of shot Okay, let's try to fly there and let's see if we lose signal. Still moving forward. Okay, I lost visual and I lost the signal. Okay, it's back now. It's already too late. I stopped the drone already. Okay, I still have 33% of battery left and let's see if returning has better footage let's see what's below what's below oh wow okay so I have already reached 30% percent battery which means the low battery warning will show up soon and okay let's try to the forward again full throttle forward 60 meters per second quite fast Sure that I will get the warning soon. Low battery. Low. Please land ASAP to avoid damaging. All right. Land ASAP to avoid damaging. You know, this is three cells battery, so it should be like nine volt before it gets damaged. I think. Okay, guys. I think that was it, and I. I had a, so many uh, beautiful footage to show you so the battery is already 16% down and the drone is ground up alright so see you again in the next video now I will show you um, the graded and the ungraded footage check this out thank you so much for watching